Hey guys, what is freaking going on? It's Noah, back again with another video, and today, I'm not bringing you one, I'm bringing you two life stories today in one video. Yes, um, both of them are childhood injuries that, uh, one of them was another person's fault, the other was my fault. Now, we're gonna do the other person's, uh, fault first, because freaking, you gotta blame people, you know what I mean? No, um, <laughs> but before I get into the video, guys, I wanna thank you guys so very much for 100 subscribers thank you guys so much we're growing um, at a rapid rate honestly um, we were I don't know we're growing at like four or five subs per day which is actually pretty good I think it is uh, I don't know about you guys but I just can't thank you guys enough that honestly blows my mind like a hundred people uh, click that subscribe button for me and just to watch my videos like that honestly like makes me so happy and I, I just can't thank you guys enough so uh, once again, thank you, and yeah, let's get into this video. Let's freaking do this. Now, the first one was the other person's fault, and uh, he was my friend, so let's get into this. So, when I was little, I used to live in Nebraska. You guys knew this. I moved to Kansas when I was in fourth grade. Now, I was probably in about second grade for both of these stories, so um, I don't know if you guys have these at your park or your jungle gym or whatever you want to call it, uh, where you went out for recess in elementary school and you played on the play equipment um, I'm just gonna call it a jungle gym I don't know if you guys had the swirly slides um, I did at my school we were actually very wealthy I'm going to say this openly we had a lot of money at my old school like in the principal's office there was a fish aquarium and when you went to the principal's office don't ask me why I know this yes I went to the principal's office every year but that's for another life story um, in elementary school um, there was a fish aquarium that had electric eels and sharks in it. And then when you went into her office, uh, she gave you Capri Suns and like, uh, cheeses and stuff like snacks. So, uh, it was a very wealthy school. They had plenty of stuff to give out and our computers were max, uh, back in like 2004. So I'm just saying that openly. We were wealthy, but beyond that point, our jungle gym was very nice. It was very, it had all the equipment you would need to have fun. Uh, it, we actually had two freaking parks, two whole parks uh, for recess. So we had this very, very high, um, actually two slides. We had a very, very high, just uh, straight down slope slide. So basically where you just slide down and then you're done. Uh, that was about 15 feet in the air. Like I'm saying, if you jumped off that thing at full height, you would probably break your ankles. So uh, I was on the twirly slide. Now the twirly slides, uh, did not have the top half on so usually some of them have just like full tube swirly slides This was just like a half um, I don't know how to explain this probably it kind of looks like a tiny half pipe that a little body would fit in um, So excuse me guys so my stupid self Decided to get on the top of the slide not only on the top the top top part like the very beginning where you start sliding down but I freaking like got on the edge of it so my stomach was on the edge of the one of the edges of the um, thing so it was half open I was on the edge the outer edge not the inner edge where I could fall maybe if I fell I would fall back into another slide no if I fell I would fall all the way I would fall all the way to the freaking ground that's the edge I was on and so my friend my jackass friend um, supposedly thought it would be a good idea to push me so this kid pushes me once and I f I saw him try to do it he like little gave me a little I don't even know just like a little shove and uh, I was like dude that wasn't funny don't do that again he does it a second time I'm like dude seriously stop right now before you freaking do anything you will regret and then he does it the third time, and you guys can guess what freaking happened. Third time's luck. Third time's the charm. Um, yeah, I fell 15 feet. But not only did I fall, I fell, and right when I about got to the bottom, to the ground, to the wood chips, the safe, uh, actually there were rocks, uh, the safe rocks down, down there, I hit my right eyebrow, so my right eye, uh, my right eyebrow, on the edge of the like the corner of the bottom of the slide where you come out I hit my eye on the corner of it my eyebrow and to this day um, I have like this little bump in my eyebrow 
I was bleeding all over. We don't know what it is still in my eye. We think it's a rock or a popped vein or a tumor. But if it's a tumor, it's not very successful because it's been eight years. Um, but yeah, I was just I just bled and uh, I was like freaking out because I was like seven. I was like, oh gosh, freaking what am I going to do? And then basically I just got bandaged up. Uh, it wasn't too serious of an injury, but yeah. So let's go on to the second story. Uh, the second story was totally my fault, my stupidity. Um, so when I was little, as you guys know, I was daredevilish. Already said this 40 times. In this case, you know how like when you and your friends, I don't know if you're a if you're a girl watching, I don't know if you girls did this, but uh, certainly every guy has a story about trying to jump to the farthest monkey bar. I don't know if you broke your arm or did whatever. I've never broken any bones in my life, guys, so if I ever have an injury, nothing like too severe happened, but they were having a contest like who can jump to the farthest monkey bar. Everyone was getting four, uh, maybe five if you were like a total badass. So my stupid self decided, you know what? Let's go for the seventh monkey bar. And I'm going to say this fairly, like to this day, I still think those monkey bars are very, very um, width, width apart. I can't even say that word. Um, far apart, pretty much. They were like three feet from each other. So, I mean, that's pretty... That's a pretty good distance between each monkey bar. And so, I back up. There was a good, like, 15 feet for me to run and jump for this. And uh, there was those sidebars to help you grip and not fall. Um, so, I start running. I start going. Right before I jump, I basically slip my, slip my two legs in between one bar. And you guys know what is in between my two legs that would hurt if that happened. Yes, guys. I basically almost popped one of my nuts okay that sounds gross but yes it hurt so bad i can't tell you how bad that hurt like i was crying so hard and i went inside and i started peeing out orange so there was some blood involved i did some damage i mean they're fine now uh everything works fine now to this day um uh, but yeah that's pretty much the story I hope you guys freaking enjoyed these two stories. If you did, make sure to smack that like button for me uh, just to show me your support. And if you guys did like me enough um, or want to go check out other videos, go ahead, subscribe if you want just to keep updated with my channel. Or if you just like me so much, you want to see more of me uh, and hear more of my voice, you could freaking do that. Sounds creepy, but you know. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support lately. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.